What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Now this video is going to be one of a kind for my channel and that's going to be SAO Unleashed Blading. Now if you don't know this is a mobile game and it is about to get shut down. It shuts down on Monday, see the 16th which is tomorrow and I wanted to get this video out because I never got to do this for Memory Defrag and I just wanted to do this for Unleashed Blading. I didn't play this game a lot so I don't have too much on my account. I played it when it released, then I dropped it for a while, and then I came back off and on, off and on. So I wanted to take the time and do the last bit of scouts and show off some gameplay for those who have never seen it. I will also be linking another YouTuber who mostly played this game a lot more than I did. And I believe he has basically the whole life cycle of this game from the events, the banners, you know, the characters, all of that. And I will link his channel. His name is Kazuto Online. And I will link his uh, Unleashed Blading playlist. So let's go ahead and check the scout. We have our daily free scouts right here. Uh, when I came back to the game and I saw these, I already knew that this game was going to be shut down at some point because... Typically, gotchas just don't do these, like, every single day. So, let's go ahead and use these up real quick. This is where I got most of my units, was from these. I never learned the summon animation in this game, either, so. And on weekends, the fr like, I think on Friday and then to Sunday, you know, you can get the 11 time pool. Now, I am doing this from, like, a AirPlay app, basically. So, it's not going to be too great. But right here, we already got a new character. I don't know how the sound audio is going to be. I'll try to, you know, fix it as best as I can. But, we'll see. And for, like, the gameplay, I might just switch this to an emulator. So, I'll probably just do the scouts right here and then switch. So, I think, I don't know if this is like a wedding asana or what, but it looks like a wedding asana. So, holding hands with you, asana, yep. So, we came out with a new character already. And this is the last banner right here, the last items that we can get. And the scouts right down there at the bottom, like the cost form, those are heavily reduced, which is good because the game is shutting down. But uh, it used to not be that low. I think in some points of the game, they, they would reduce the cost for like, I guess, certain events or something like that. But this is also the weapon banner right here. Let's go ahead and do this. There we go, just a normal blue. The weapon banner, I did basically learn its uh, summon animation. But weapon banners, I never I never in any gacha game pull on these usually. Uh, for this game, I never did. The only time I ever pulled on weapon banners for this game is literally when it's free. That's it. We also got some ticket summons. I still have a beginner ticket. I forgot how I even got this. We have the Climax Ticket Scout. Um, I don't even know what's in this. Uh, it might be... I think it's almost all the units just about. Or at least a couple of them. We got the Climax for the weapon. And then we just got some of these right here. These uh, garbage tickets. So let's go ahead and use these. So nothing there. This one's the character one. See what we can get. Also, this is the summon animation for the characters. So we got the operator girl. Show generate those elements. And then the elevator just goes up. And then it'll stop. I, I just never learned the uh, animation for this, though. I don't know. So we got that. Nothing good. 
So let's go ahead and use this right here. See what we get from our beginner one. Sometimes as well with those orbs down there, you can tell, you know, what kind of thing you get. So let's go ahead and use the weapon ones first. This is the weapon animation, summon animation. So right there, we got that bow. So that's all we got that was new right there. And here we go with our last four. And nothing there. So now let's go ahead and do our 15 tickets for the climax. So I can't tell anything by the orbs. Nothing. Alright, last four tickets. And nothing. So we didn't get anything out of those tickets. We only got, what, only one the new thing, and that was a bow? So now, for this, the last character scout... Now, I would have more pools. I would have at least about, like, about 3,000, maybe 4,000. But I goofed up, and I was wanting to put this on the emulator for my computer to record it. But since I'm on iOS, on my phone, uh, when I transferred my account over, I don't keep the memory diamonds. Now, I already knew this, but I took a chance with it. And obviously, it was a bad move, so... Basically what I did was I did a bunch of events that I still had that I never even did. And I did story modes just to get, you know, this many within the limited time I had. So let's go ahead. I think it already says I'm on step six. So I have pulled on this before. I just don't know if I have this itis or not. But let's see what, what we can get from this. Step seven, we get a guaranteed one. It said, I believe. So nothing new. So yeah, right here. Four star guaranteed on the 11. I don't know if this is every time now or if it's just one time. But let's see who we get. Let me try to look at the summon animation for it. Okay, so the orbs glowed. Okay, so I already did have the Idis. So I already pulled on this banner whenever it was out, I guess. I just completely forgot. So yeah, we already got the new Idis. But now we have it to where the four star rate is up by 1.5. Don't know if this is going to continue increasing, but let's see. Kind of hoping I do get some new ones, because like, there's a bunch of four stars in this, so I should get somebody new at least, because I don't have many. But it looks like it's staying at 1.5. Still nobody new. Come on, I, I at least need to come out with one new character out of these. Okay, okay, got a new one. Never mind, I got baited. I thought that was a four star, but I got baited. Nothing still? Wow, for 1.5 rate up, this is not good. Wow. Let me look at this. What is the the rates on this?
Where is the right? Uh, I'm not. Okay, so the drop rate. Three point, I mean, three percent for four star. That's not bad. And then a 4.5 now, so I am getting really unlucky. Still nothing, wow. And the exchange point, I don't know what's in that lineup, I haven't looked at that. After we do our up pools, we'll see, but this should be one. Okay, okay. We got the Pugilist guy. I don't have him. <laughs> he just says I'm flying in the air. Okay, though. We got, we got a new one. I'll take that. I'll take it. Well... I have to take it, and it's going to be gone <laughs> tomorrow, or in a couple of hours. So let's see. Okay, okay. Maybe another one? Nope. Baited. Let's see again. Okay, nothing. Doesn't look like anything for this one either. And nothing on that either. Man, this this write up is just oof. This is kind of like one thing I would I would say about the you know memory defrag and unleash blading. Like I always felt so unlucky in the SAO mobile games. Like the rates just don't feel great. Don't know why the purchase thing is showing up, glowing like like that. I don't think it was before, but you can't purchase any memory diamonds. They disabled that whenever they announced that they were uh, shutting the game down, which is good. So people can't buy anything, you know, they can't while the game is shutting down. Still nothing. We're almost out, too. And so far, we've gotten only one new character. Uh, besides from our 11 pool, when we got that new character of Asuna. We've only gotten three new things. Two new characters and one new weapon. From, you know, the free pools, the tickets, and then now these. Still nothing. Wow. I don't even know how many pools this is. I might just... I might count it. Um, while I end up editing. Still nothing. And this is a 4.5 rate. So we got about, what, three more pools, I think? Okay, we got another character, but... Bro, what? Okay, two dupes of the itis in one. Kind of sucks, because that could have been in uh, two new characters, but she's rated up in this, so. One more pull after this, and then that's it. Nothing. 
nothing again. Last pool. Will we get something new? Nope, nothing. So out of all those pools, all those tickets, only three new things. And this is with a 4.5 rate up. Keep that in mind. And I didn't get anything besides one new character in this banner. So, and of course in the exchange lineup they only have her. I don't know why they only have her. They should have put the other characters up in it, but I might as well use the exchange points. I got nothing else to use them on, so. I think that's her full Imaginarium now that I have. So, that is all the pools right there. Now, let me go ahead and claim these from the daily. Might, maybe we might get enough for one more pool. I doubt it though. Forty-four. Yeah, we almost got enough. But so, let's go ahead and look at the character list. Let me filter this real quick to show only the four stars. So here, these are all of them I have. One hundred and six four stars. I don't know how many in total there are in this game, but this is all I've got pretty much. Like I said, most of them came from the free daily pools that they were doing, uh, some from tickets and stuff. But uh, we go through. Uh, I got this one. Some of these I leveled up to their max because I was using them to, you know, go through story to get more diamonds for pools. But we got this Kirito. This is his uh, artwork whenever you put him at max, I believe is 100 when you get their artwork. And then this is just his like base version whenever you uh, first pull him. Then we got this one. This was the anniversary Asuna. Yeah, celebrating their two year anniversary. This is what she looked like whenever you just pulled her. And then this right here is just her artwork. Looks really nice. I ended up getting two of her, I think. Yeah, two, because I have her Imaginarium. I was going for the Anniversary Kirito, but I got shafted. Then this one, Awakened Power Kirito. This is what his artwork looks like. And then what you get when you just pull him. Next, we got the last battle, Answer to Our Prayers, Kirito. This is what his artwork is. This is whenever he's fighting Subdolizer. And then this is whenever you pull him. Pretty neat looking, because in battle, he actually does end up putting on his wings when you put him in enhanced mode, I believe. Then this one, this is our last, like, free character, I believe, the Mita. This is her artwork. And then this is what she looks like. We ended up getting her for free, and you could get her full Imaginariums by logging in, and then you also would get a weapon for, for her. This one, Swimsuit Asuna. This is what her artwork looks like. And this game has some really good artwork, too. Like, in my opinion, it's better than Variant Showdown. Mostly because I don't like how Variant Showdown stuff is on cards. But I really do like the artwork for this game. Then right here, Goddess of the Abyss, Idis. This character did so much for me. This is her artwork. Looks really nice. I love the outfit. And then this is what she looks like when you pull her. And then right here, the Integrity Knight Kirito. I think I got him from a free pool. But this is his artwork. Looks really, really nice. 
And this is him whenever you uh, actually pull him. Here, one of my favorite female characters, Rain. Right here, this is her artwork. And then this is her when you pull. Right here we got Administrator. We have the sauce. I literally put her at max just to get her sauce. So this is her artwork. I remember I was trying to get her crimps, uh, Christmas version, but I did not get it. And then this is how she looks when you pull her. Then right here we got DIL, her artwork, and then this is how she looks. Then next, one of my other favorites, Shaita. This is her artwork. I love the long hair that she has up in this one. and. Uh, the fact that she'll mostly like use her hand as a blade because her sword had broke. Then right here we have Idol Asuna. This was during a Idol Master collab, I believe. I can't remember if she was. I don't think she was the free one. I think she was on the banner, but I ended up getting this. And this is how she looks when you get her. Here we have a free sword to Lena. This was like back when the game was first new. Uh, they had an event to where you can get her and max her. So she was probably like one of the earlier characters people were mostly using for uh, water, you know, or just based on what she had. But this is her artwork right here. This is her young version, by the way. And then this is how she looks whenever you have her. Next, Idis. I don't know what version this... Oh, this is the version where I think she broke her seal. So this is the artwork for it. And this is how she looks whenever you pull her. I actually do like this, how it has the code 871 with the background and how she has, the, uh, has it on her eye, too. Here we got Subtilizer. This one looks really cool in the artwork right here. So right here, here's a better look. And this is how he is whenever you pull him. Now another thing too I'm not sure if I'm going to do is... I'm not sure if I'm going to show all their incarnation skills. Because that's quite a lot. But I might, I might, I might try to do it just to show it off. Here we have Aronia, her artwork. I think this is one of the earlier versions of Aronia. And this is how she looks when you get her. Yuna, if you don't know already, the voice actress for Yuna ended up passing away. I think, believe it was last year or the year before. So this is one of the two Yunas that I do have. That's her artwork. And then here, how she looks whenever you have her. Also another character, I believe, it's not this one, but her other version I have, she carried me a lot. Here we have Baftal Ronier. Here's her artwork, I believe that's mm, Fiesel next to her maybe? And here's how she looks whenever you pull her. I remember I was trying to go for a TSA bath towel, but I didn't get her. So right here we got Anniversary Yuki, the 2.5 year. This one I didn't get to use too much. But her outfit's basically the same as she had before, but just, you know, changed. Then here, I don't know what kind of Kirito this is, but here's the artwork. 
And here's how he is whenever you get him. Next we have this one for Kirito. I don't know if this was one of his last ones. But here's the artwork for it. Pretty nice. And then this is how it is when you get him. I actually really like this, how they're, you know, it, it almost looks like it's two units in one, but I don't think it, I don't think it is. I don't think I even used him, really. And then right here, another sauce administrator that I put up to 100 for the artwork. Uh, she actually did carry me, though. She was actually really good. So here's her artwork. And here's how she is whenever you get her. But yeah, she really helped a lot with uh, breaking enemies for me. Then next we have this one. I think this is like... Almost like a bedtime Alice. Or just like casual clothes Alice. Uh, Alice? I'm not sure. But I do like the outfit for her, for sure. And then this is how she looks whenever you get her. I will also end up putting timestamps for each section of this. Like, I'll put, you know, for the beginning parts, pulling. Then this part will be showing characters and their artwork. And then the last part will be, like, gameplay and stuff. Now, this one, this Yuna carried me a lot in the beginning as well. Especially for healing. So, here's our artwork. Pretty nice. And then this is how she looks whenever you have her. Next, these are ones that I just don't have artwork for. I don't have them because I can't limit break them. And this one is just a Asuna. I don't know what kind it is. I think this is like after the war. Here we have Sinon. Uh, this one, I think, yeah, she was also a good character for me because she was my break character for non-elements. Here we have another Shaita. Don't have any artwork for. Here is a Asuna. This one, I think, is... I know for sure this one is an Asuna after, you know, the war. Because right there it says a thousand years with you. But that's whenever she became queen. Next, uh, Alice. I'm not sure what version this is, really. Because there's a couple versions with her up in her uh, knight armor. Here we have Leafa. I think this one also came in handy a couple times for me early on. Here we have another Leafa. I think this is during the war, one of her versions. Here, a Kirito. This is, I think, one of the earliest versions of Kirito. That was, uh, like, when the game first came out. Can't remember if he was, like, a free one you could select or how it was. But that's an early Kirito, I'm pretty sure. Here we have GGO Kirito. And like I said, most of these I never got to use. ALO Kirito. One of his, one of his versions we saw in the uh, Excalibur art. ALO Asuna. Also, if the audio right now is not syncing up correctly, sorry about that. Because I'm kind of hearing it a little bit. Here we have Progressive Asuna. I think I got this as a selection. Because I did want to get her just to have.
Here we have another Osma, maybe during the war. Another administrator right here. I don't know. Okay, yeah, this is a sauce one. I should have got this one for the artwork because that's the, that's the bathtub version. But that's how she looks. And then here, this one is Aelo Asuna, whenever she was in the cage. I honestly didn't even know they had this one. Here, this is a SAO Asuna. I think this one is during, like, the Gleam Eyes? No. This is some other one. I don't know. And this one right here. Uh, Valentine Tisa. Now, real quick, since I am hearing it a lot more, I'm going to uh, cut this real quick. And then I will come back so I can at least get the audio to sync up a little bit with like how I'm pressing these buttons. So I'm going to, uh, like I said, cut this real quick and then I'm going to resync this audio. Okay, so now that we're back, here is a, another TSA right here. I think this was also one of the earlier ones. Here we have Swimsuit Ronnie. Here, uh, Childhood Alice. This was actually one of the free units that you can get from an event, I believe. I think. Yeah, because I can max limit break her. So let me go ahead and do her limit breaks real quick. I think I can max limit break her. Okay, so she's 95. I don't think this is going to give me her artwork, though. Yeah, so I don't have enough of her crystals, and I don't have enough of my other crystals, but... So, that's Childhood uh, Alice. Um, let's see, where were we? Right here. Here, Lino. I don't think Lino or Fiesel had many versions at all. And then right here, another free character for an event that you can max, and that's Selka. Here's our artwork. And this is how she is whenever you get her. Now, I'm not sure how good these units were early on. They probably were good for people, but uh, I'd Pretty sure they don't hold up at all anymore. Here we got a Nalo version of uh, Silica. I think this is probably uh, a bedtime version, possibly. Then here we have Cardinal. I don't think Cardinal got too much either. Another Alo Silica. Seven. I think I got her doing a free pool because uh, I don't think I was around when her banner came. Then right here we got ALO Liz. Then right here a free version of Liz from the New Year's. I think this is a New Year version of the Tiger. Then right here, we have the Goddess Sinon. Right here, a low version of Sinon. Uh, one of the wars for Leafa.
Um, Iris, I don't know when this one was. Here we have another Leafa. Then this one's my favorite for Alice. I love this this look for her. The purple dress, it just goes so well with her. Here, I think this is like almost like a bath Alice. I mean not Alice, uh Idas, I think. Or probably just her like after maybe washing her face or something. I don't know. One of my other favorite characters, Philia. I think this is literally the only version they have of her. Same thing with like maybe Rain and Seven. Here, another uh, version of uh, Leafa in the war. Another Alice in her uh, outfit, Integrity Knight. Now this one was from a Tales of Arise collab. I don't know why they did this collab so late, but this is a uh, Sinon, I mean not Sinon, uh, Leafa or Sugu up in Runwell's outfit. Actually looks pretty nice. The other character you could get was uh, Kirito up in uh, Law's outfit. And that was literally it. Th those were the only two collab units I believe in that collab you couldn't get alfin you couldn't get Shion. they showed up but you couldn't get them so it was it was a bummer this one is one of the original characters and uh, i think it's original to this game but it's sylvie she's a dark territory knight i don't know much about her didn't play the story far enough for it i didn't even read her stuff for it i just know she's you know the fresh dark knight recruit Then right here we got Eldre. This is probably the like the first version of Eldre. Here we've got Yuki, one of the earlier versions. I say earlier versions for these characters because they just look early. This one I'm pretty sure is early version of uh Tisa. Then right here we have Valentine Ronian. Here we have another Yuki. Swimsuit Tise. I actually do like the the look of her swimsuit and the colors that go with it, and how she has her hair. Then right here, I think this was whenever Alicization Licorice first came out. And uh, Medina was added into the game as a free character you can get from logging in. So, only time, I think, I don't think she was an integral factor, but as far as I know, this is the only time Medina was put in a mobile game. And I don't think I can... Yeah, I don't have crystals or anything for her, so... Here, I think this is a... Hol yeah, Halloween uh, Yuki. I want to say this one was an event unit? But I can't remember. Here we have... I think... This is Ronie whenever she's training to be a knight. I think. I don't know. Here, another Yuki. Again, another Yuki.
Then this right here, this is one of the idol master characters. I didn't actually, uh, let me break them so I can actually do that right now to see their artwork. This was the one of the free ones you can get from, uh, the collab. And there we go. There's our artwork. And then that's just our regular version. Here, I think this is one of the early versions of Kirito during the war, because of course he's got the blue rose. This one, I believe, is after the war because that's one of his new outfits in the opening for the game. So I think that is uh, after the war. Here, this is one of his uh, SAO ones, I believe. This is maybe during Gleam Eyes. Yeah. Then this one, I believe, is the same thing. I think this is Asuna from SAO with the, uh, yeah, Gleam Eyes as well. So I got both of those. Here we have Progressive Asuna. Another ALO Asuna. Rinley. I don't know how many versions this guy has. Integrity Knight Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, this is the fight with Administrator Kirito. I don't have his artwork, but the artwork right there, he's using the, uh, I call it the Red Rose Sword. I'm guessing that's what everybody else calls it. But, um, he's using that. So, this one right here. I don't know what kind of version this is. This is probably just whenever they were in the cathedral. Whenever they were first up there. Then that's another one right there. This right here, this was whenever... I think this was a pre-registration reward for, uh, for the game when it was first coming out. And this was a free unit you would get whenever you just logged in and went to your mailbox. It was an Alice. I think she was good mostly in the beginning for, uh, well, she was a free four star. But I think she would also taunt enemies and stuff. Here, I think this is one of the earlier versions of Idas. Then here we got, uh, Dokir. Or Dakira. I think this is probably her only version as well. Another um, Integrity Knight Alice. Here in Idas. I want to say. Okay, no, that's not. I was thinking that might have been almost a bath towel. Another Integrity Knight Alice. So many of hers with just like her armor on. Then this one. I actually did like this one because she didn't have the armor on. This is actually her bath towel one too. You can see it down there in the artwork, but I don't have it. Here, Idas. This might be bath towel one. Yes, it is. I, again, don't have the artwork. Here we've got another Iris. Progressive Sugu. Which, I actually do like the artwork for it a little bit. Even though it's very, like, old. I do like the look of it with, like, the little diamond shapes there. 
and everything. Uh, this asana, I don't know. It says love is a labyrinth. Not sure. Here we got a Yu-Gi-Oh. It says Blue Rose Memory, so that looks like whenever they were fighting Venantio in the artwork. And then this one, this is the Asana we just got, holding hands with you. So she donned her dress once more, yada yada yada. Yeah, so I'm guessing that's like a wedding Asana right there. Then right here, um, Is Iskan? I, I think that's how you pronounce his name, the pugilist guy. I think this is his last version that he had. And then right here, the new Idis. I don't think we can... Uh, we might be able to limit break her for the artwork. But we got our full Imaginariums. Whenever you get dupes of characters, you would get their Imaginarium to, you know, give them special effects. And you just put them on here. And then you can get those other ones right there, the blue ones. That, uh, that aren't character uh, specific. But... I guess let's go ahead and try to see if we can get her artwork. Because I actually do like that artwork. I really do. Okay, yeah. It looks like we can get it. Luckily, I had enough of these... Uh, these non-element crystals. But yeah. I really like that artwork right there. Very good. So there we go. In here, smiling, living the asana. Let's see, what is this one? Looks like underneath the tree where she took a nap. And then here, our last one, Sortilino. So, that's all the characters that I have up in this game. Um, all the ones I can really just show the artwork for. So. Now, I hear the audio is trying to, you know, mess up again. So, I think what I'm going to do is cut this again. And then I'm going to try to do this on my emulator. Because that will be a lot better for recording than having to do this from my phone and project it to my PC screen. Plus, it will be a lot easier to manage the audio. So, I'm going to do that. It's going to take some time because I do have to download everything. So, I will have that at least by the time the game shuts down. So then, once I come back, I'll go show off some of the modes like Ordinal, Cathedral, and just uh, show what they had in the quest mode for story. So, with all that being said, I will see you guys whenever I move over to the emulator. Okay, so now I've switched over to the PC for the emulator. And... We've already shown all the characters that I do have, so now I'm going to end up showing the um, the modes that we have, show off some gameplay, and I'm going to show off all the characters that I have. I'll show off all their ultimate skills in a separate video, but um, I'm going to show off the modes that we have at the moment, show the gameplay, and then I'm also going to show my profile stuff, because I forgot to show that in the first part. But first things first, let's go over to Ordinal. Ordinal is the PvP mode in this game. You know, you set up your little team right here. I don't think I can even uh, get those. I think those are restricted. And uh, right over here, you got the people. You get, you know, certain point bonuses, you know, depending on who you fight. And right here, are, this is my team's total power. Uh, this Kirito is missing a weapon because I swapped it on somebody else. But let's go ahead and fight this person real quick since they have way lower. And you'll get to see how the combat is. Um, real quick, I'll turn the auto off and the, the times two speed. After active links, these kind of boost your stuff. You know, if uh, characters have link bonuses, you know, either with the same weapon, same element, or their special partners, then they'll get bonuses for this. And they'll do like special um, animations to do more attacks. Um, so right there, we got the partner bonus with those two. 
Uh, over here, the Emmy Incarnate. This is what you need to do your ultimate skills. So you need 100% charge to do those. We already got 32. Uh, charge skills. You know, all our skills down here that use MP. Our MP is right there, the blue bar. And so charge skills give you more Incarnate. So you see I get up to 80.50%. And the assault skills are your damaging skills. And you see if I go to one of these, you know, some of them can give you charge, like that right there, 15. But some of them, you know, you won't, I don't think all of them give you charge, but you can just see that there. So there we go, we're using assault for her. We got a buff. And then right here, this is their, you know, little animation that they do, they'll do extra damage. And you see everybody took damage from that. So active link's really nice, especially with groups of mobs. So that is generally how Ordinal Battle will go. You just set your team, you know, go fight whoever, you know, has, you know, pretty much lower power level than you. You'll always go fight them. And you just build up your rank, and then after a while, you'll get the rewards for it. And if you keep winning, then you'll get extra points right up there. So I didn't do, I didn't do too much of this. I mostly only did it just for the dailies so that right there is ordinal battle now next let's go check out the event now for the event tab this right here is basically like your little battle pass um you just do it to you do the event for it you get points and you get the rewards then after you get all the rewards you only just get friend points so you can use those for i think a shop so you either got this right here you got the story you can do the event that's featured here, uh, some of the other events, and then you got evolution events, so you can level characters, level equipment, all that. So, this event, the final one, Unleash Blading, this is generally how they go. So the event quests right here, this tab will just have story related stuff, and you'll need to get a certain amount of story keys to, you know, view these. And over here, you would go to boss battle. And you would take on the boss to get the uh, the event keys and also get some memory diamonds as well. I think that's what they call them. Or memory cubes. Whatever they are. Let's see. Uh, I guess they don't show up here. Excuse me, I just had a sneeze. So yeah, I never did make it too far up in these type of things. I usually probably can only get to 90 and then don't even clear 90. But I'll show you how this is. So since I already pretty much done this before, I'll just select a supporter. Some missions you can select supporters. And then right here, we just have our normal, our non-element team. Go ahead and go fight. And since it's level 50, this will one, this one will be easy. So I will go ahead and just set that as auto. Also, one thing I forgot to mention was, uh, like how she just built her built up her incarnate right there. If you don't knock this down to zero, the enemy is gonna use their incarnate skill and those things hit hard. So some characters, um, like this right here, you'll see B. It says B. So let me switch to this person's Idas. And this is a break skill. Break skills are used to get rid of their uh, the enemy's incarnate. So let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> So then we'll go ahead and break. And then we can pretty much go ahead and uh, we'll use Assault. And then that'll get the Incarnate all the way down. And this will probably kill her. Because she was already taking a lot of damage. So yeah, that killed her. And then this right here also shows your score. You know, you complete a certain amount of turns, you get that rank. So that's how you'd get, um, you know, some extra memory diamonds in a way. And you get your rewards, you know, you get your money, you get your materials, whatever they got.
And then right here, this is your full reward screen, and you see we get these event rewards for the story keys. Uh, right down here you get your event points, that's for the battle pass essentially. And that's pretty much it. Battle log. Okay, so I, did, I was always wondering if there was a battle log, but yeah, this is it right here. So yeah, that's pretty much how these type of events right here go. You just do them, get the story keys, uh, go however far you want to, you know, do your little pass thing if you to get some of the rewards, view the story, and that is pretty much it. So also on the event tab, we got the evolution. Now these, a lot of this stuff I think got kind of cut out because, you know, it's about to shut down, but you still got your basic stuff here at least. Um... You got your XP quest, farm these for, you know, XP for your characters. The evolutions right here, you can get certain evolution uh, tomes and all that for certain elements. So, you know, you got some of the elements right here, right here, and right here. And that's used to upgrade skills on a character. Um, or fragment, I think this is for, like, accessories. I didn't do too much of these. And then, like, these right here, I think these are for special effects on your accessories. Uh, visual keys, these are from some characters that have like EX slots so they can get additional bonuses. Uh, your Shia, this is if you need to farm money. This right here is if you need to farm uh, grindstones for upgrading equipment. Then they had some of these events for creating equipment as well. Pretty nice for starting out, especially for uh, I think each element has one. Then you got the beginner's thing that teaches you things about combat, and you get memory diamonds from them, or memory cubes. Uh, another equipment creation, and then another beginner uh, thing for XP, I think. Then you can sort them by, you know, characters, so this character stuff will just be for upgrading. The equipment tab, accessory, that kind of stuff. Then right here, these limited time events. Uh, these, I think, pretty much got cut out as well. There's no ranking event. I think they already had their last ranking event. Then there's this right here. This is like its own thing. Because I think it had some... Uh, its own, like... I thought it said its own additional animations and stuff. And this was... I don't know when this was added, but this has been here for a long while. It just stays. And then there's the only Blading one that we had just did. Then right here you got the story one. These, you know, you can most you'll mostly do these for memory diamonds, but you can get some characters from these. Like right here, that's how you get the uh, kid version of Sortalina. Here you get Selka. So I could have did these as well for some more memory diamonds. I kind of forgot about it, but you can go through these and do some of them. I don't think there was ever too many of these, which kind of sucks. They could have did a lot, but yeah. So those are those. And then here we have cathedral. This is basically like your your end game in a way. And what you do is you go through floors. You got different waves, and you go through floors with your team and. I think if your team gets knocked out, you, if, if well, if somebody dies, you can't use them again. Because, let's see. Turns and battles. and get three draw soul carriers have a limited number of turns. They can partake in battle. Okay. Once the amount is exceeded, or if characters have down status, they can no longer partake in battle. When all four has been cleared, you can return. So, yeah. Here's when the house has to begin. A battle again with HP recovery items, recovery items are just every day. Okay. So yeah, you can just go up as far as you can, you know, with your characters until they either die or they just get tired in a way, I guess you can say. Until you beat the boss and you just keep going. So that's 50 floors and then let's see, this goes up to, that's a 50 as well. And then that right there, I think, just shows that it's going to the uh, the next floor. Uh, as you can already tell, I didn't do this at all, pretty much. But that's how the Cathedral Assault works. 
Now, as for this one, War of Underworld right here, they did just do their last one, but basically there would be bosses, and you would go and fight them. And I think it was more like of a guild type event. I don't know too, too much about it, but Kazuto Online, he has his video on whenever he did it. He did the last one, and you can see how that works. So I'll end up linking that down below as well. So that's pretty much all the modes, a little bit of the uh, the combat. Uh, quest over here, this is your main story stuff. So you have the Alicization arc. Uh, this goes all the way till the ending after the war, which I almost completed. I got over to here, chapter 20. And then you have Moon Cradle, which I believe is after the Alicization arc. And I don't think I really did anything for this. I could have did this also for Memory Diamonds, but this is also for uh, high level characters and stuff. There's not too many chapters to it. And I think the, the story for this you would have to read on their official website because I think they're in the Dark Emperor arc, they call it. And you'll have to read that on their website. Then next we got Progressive. This one was very short. It was literally just this. And then we have Archive. I didn't check this out, but I think this is just scenes from, you know, stuff from anime and then stuff you never see. So I don't know too much about these. I never checked them. But that's pretty much all of that and how the combat you know looks and everything like i said if you want to see more of that uh cause to online has more stuff you can see um as for my profile rank 93 i pretty much just got this recently uh ignore the shameless plug but um you can put your little emblems right here your little titles or whatever that you earn some events you can get like certain titles like this one right here the Floor Salt Ranking, Moon Cradle, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that name, Chapter 4, Top 100, so I came in Top 100 for that event, so I got the title for Top 100. So that's how you can equip those. Don't think any of them, pretty much, I don't think any of them do anything. Well, actually, yeah, right here. I think if you equip it, it should do stuff on your profile. But you can also change some things like, um, you know, you can change this character thing right here. I, re I, I like the Ronier one because th this Ronier looks so good. Like, it just it's just so good. And then that's her other version right there too. I really love that Ronier. But you can change these to different ones you have. Some of them uh, were free. Some of them were from like event passes. Um, but mine are pretty much all free. Some of them you can just get from uh, having the character. So, some of these, like for this, for example, this is Shayta's uh, Limit Break artwork. And whenever you Limit Break a character, you'll just have their thing here. But pretty much anything you have, it'll be here. So, then the anime version, you can just have them like this. Basically, they're a little model. So let me go ahead and change that back to Ronia. Then background, you can change this for like your main title screen, I believe. Let's see. Okay, I was thinking that should have changed. I don't know what the background goes to. But, um, but yeah, I think that's if people probably view your thing. Like probably if I didn't have her, Yuji would show up. Because let's see. Let me check that. Okay, yeah. So he would pop up right there. It's just that this one is artwork, so he doesn't pop up. That's why. So then in battle, you can change your battle background music. I didn't... I didn't get many of these. These are mostly from... Uh, probably either certain events and battle passes. And then also from... Uh, Price from some other stuff. Here you can put, you know, your favorite characters on the screen, on your home menu. So like if I want to put Yui, she'll be there. 
And then that would be the background too. And then you can change your background for your main screen. But I just have it as uh, the Unleashed Blading one. There was one of them that I did use a lot. Um, this one too. This one is a. This one is from the um, collab. I wish I could remove her, but actually I can. I can. Uh, uh, there we go. But yeah, this one is from the uh, Tales of Arise collab. Got that right there. So this is Kir the Kirito and Alfin. I think that was the only background during that event. So yeah, not too, too many. Carving out the future. Ordinal skill, I don't really have anything for. GGO, only that. Uh, this one's Halloween one. Oh no, there was another... Um, yeah, so this one's Xion. So that was a cool one too. The Mother Rosario, Firework Beach, Live Concert, I think that was something for Yuna. Here's another one for uh, Tales of Arise. So pretty neat background I would say. And then for the SAO tab, this one is for the movie, which re looks really nice. That looks really good. So yeah, I'm going to set this back to the Unleashed Blading one because this is the final one that they gave out, and that's the free one. And it looks nice. You can see Tisei and Ronier as their Integrity Knight. Idis, um, Sylvie, then Kirito and Asuna, and I don't know why, but they don't include Alice and Yu-Gi-Oh right here, even though that's their silhouettes. I don't know why they didn't, so. But yeah, that's how all that is. Here you got your smith. Uh, you can exchange for some of these weapons. And to exchange for these, you would, um, I think you can even use these. I think you can use any four-star weapon you have, but typically you would use these things. Because these things uh, have literally no stats. They're literally just for exchanging. So you would use those to get any exchange item right there. Um, goldsmith, this is where you did your accessory. Um, your vigils to put on your accessory, and then the accessory smelting. All that. I never dabbled in that too much. And then this right here, this was your shop. And actually, I didn't even realize this. Um, I didn't, I forgot about these tickets. So let's exchange these. So we can get 73 tickets. So we can do some more pools. I thought my pools were over, but we could do some more pools. And yeah, that should be it. We can get some of these other things, but they don't matter. Um, diamond cube exchange, you could use your diamond cubes to get some uh, boosters, um, some more stamina, some tickets. Um, items, these things from other events and stuff I believe. Friend points, you have these, I can actually use all these. And we can get some more tickets. Then the legendary shards, I never even use these, but you can get some uh, other four star equipment. Imaginariums, you can exchange if you have some of these. Um, you know, you can get those to boost the characters. Character illustrations, these were basically paid. I think some of them were maybe free. But you would have to use diamond cubes to get these, which I don't think too many people did, unless they just really wanted one. But, yeah, there's some here. Let's see what this one is, Selka. Idis. Here, Ordinal Battle, this is where you would spend your Ordinal Battle points. 
then here we got some events um, from some of these events you can actually get some of these materials and then you can exchange them here as well so that's what these are right here you can get all those I think this is pretty much what all of these are right here and then cathedral assault you can exchange whatever you get for some equipment I think it's only equipment yeah so it looks like only equipment so let's get us some more tickets I completely forgot about that so we can get some more tickets I'm not gonna get the weapons because the weapons don't matter I just want to want to see if I can get any more characters so now let's actually go ahead and really do our last pools and hopefully we get better than we did last time Uh, we got a ticket. Oh, yeah, it's these. So, we can only do 11 at a time. This is going to be a little bit, but let's see. Okay. So, nothing. Nothing again. And see, there's no, I don't think there's any rate up or anything for these, so we most likely won't get anything. Nothing again. Okay, we got somebody new, cool. I like that. How she summoned more swords. Embraced in sunbeams. Okay. We got a new one. See if we can get anything else. Okay, maybe that's a troll though. Nope. Yo, Tisei! The Baftal Tisei, I was just talking about it earlier too. This was actually what I was trying to pull for, just because I, I wanted her. I don't know if she was any good, but... Wow. Okay. So there's two characters so far we've gotten that are new from these tickets. Okay, another one? Maybe a troll? Okay, it's a dupe. Administrator. Okay, so it was a dupe. anything on this one nope couple more nothing Okay, maybe it's a dupe or a troll. Philia, okay. 
Okay, I'm, I'm surprised by that. Alright, last nine pools. Doesn't look like anything. Yep, nothing. So that's all of our pools. That's all that I can pretty much do besides whatever remaining story I have before the shutdown, but I'm not going to do any more of it. But yeah, that's pretty much Unleashed Blading. You know, all that I have, some of the gameplay, some of the features that we had over here, um, that's pretty much it that I can show. And like I said, I'll link Kazuto Online's channel down below. I'll link his playlist and uh, I'll link his thing for the War of Underworld so you can see how that actually worked. But yeah, um, sucks to see this game go. The artwork is very good, like I was saying earlier, but I'm just, uh, it just, it had, its, it had its ups and it had its downs, but like I said, whenever I first came back, really, Whenever I really came back and uh, I was playing it and I saw that they were just giving free pools every day, I already knew that its time was pretty much coming, but seeing it here now, it does suck. Uh, I'm not I'm not as sad over this one as I was with Memory Defrag, but still, it, it is um, sad to see it go. Because I do actually like the combat up in this game. Like, I like the turn-based, uh, the character art, as I keep saying. But I just liked it overall. So here's hoping they'll maybe do an offline mode or hopefully that team out there that revived Memory Defrag, hopefully they can get this one revived. Because I would like to end up, you know, playing this, seeing the other characters that I never got, seeing their artwork and stuff like that. So with all that being said, this is it for Unleashed Blading. Hopefully you enjoyed and... You know, if you were someone who played this for so long, it really sucks. So, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. And I'll see you guys in whatever else I have next. Peace.